The difference here is it's not a continuity structure where you're you're selling something and moving into another thing you're owning. It's an exit plan. Which so my understanding is that I can create a trust, transfer the assets to the trust, functionally sell the assets, even though I'm not, I guess, technically doing the one selling it. You have a trustee managing that. As long as you don't receive the gains personally, you can keep the assets in the trust. Um, first of all, is that a fair summary? Maybe some of the nuances. Exactly. There. Exactly. Okay. You actually nailed it on the head, but let me just do some, some clarifying pieces in between there, right? So what you're doing is you're lending the funds to the trust. And so we're actually doing a cryptocurrency deal right now. Okay. So and bought Ethereum for 100000 It's worth about $12 million. We're going to take the first $5 million, and he's going to transfer it from his uh, 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 Kraken account to the newly formed trust account. But he's not going to exchange it. He's not going to have the, the, the that other account pay him anything. In fact, it's going to be just a direct transfer, um, kind of like if you were to transfer funds to a qualified intermediary if you're doing a 1031 exchange, kind of like that. Kind of like if you were to put funds into an IRA, kind of like if you put funds into a 401k. The difference here is it's not a continuity structure where you're you're selling something and moving into another thing you're owning. It's an exit plan where you're literally exiting your position in exchange for a promissory note and becoming the lender. So in this scenario, he'll be owed back the five million plus a rate of return, but he hasn't received any of the five million, right? So therefore it's in a deferral state, kind of like an IRA, kind of like a 401k, kind of like a 1031. Okay. okay, I actually did not know that. So that that makes sense. So basically you're transferring the assets to the trust, but the more appropriate way to say that is that you're lending the assets to the trust. Is that fair? Exactly. Okay. And the trust can pay you back. And when you do receive those payments, you are going to be taxed at capital or I guess income level at that exactly. point. Or tax deferral, not, not tax avoidance, right? This is very important. This is why the IRS looks at this. It's IRC 453 based upon 90 year old tax law, which is an installment sale. So they, they you're saying, look, IRS, I owe the, I owe tax liability on that $5 million, right? Let's say in this scenario, it's two. I know I owe that to you. And the government says, yes, thank you, Hunter, for showing that you owe that to us. And, and, but as you receive payments, if it's interest payments, you'll pay ordinary income tax on those interest of the 5 million. Right. If you dip into principal, you'll pay capital gains tax. But here's right. the kicker that 2 million that you owe the government, it's at a zero interest rate. So the question, mm -hmm. question is when would you like to pay 0% interest back to the government? The answer is I'll answer for you. Never. Right. You want right. to keep that in a deferral state. Now you eventually will pay it and you'll pay the ordinary income tax. So it's not like we're never going to pay tax. It's just like a 401k or 1031 or an IRA. When do you pay tax on that? Well, when do we start receiving payments? Well, when do you start receiving payments? And this is the key. When does it work for you? A lot of right. our clients will delay for a couple of years, especially if their income is high. And in the meantime, they can use the funds. They can go back into active or passive real estate deals or okay. stocks, bonds, and mutual funds. Um, or hard money lending, right? We can diversify the equity into multiple things. So it's perfect for the cryptocurrency person, right? Who's hit the home, home run lottery on the Ethereum or whatever, right? They sell, diversify, and then get some cash flow going. Okay.